Here's the problem. You're asked to convert, let's say, the specific heat of air, constant pressure. Maybe they give it to you 1.005 kilojoules per kilogram degree C. But you really need it in kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. You're stuck. How do you do that? Well, you have to understand what is this degree C and how is C sub P used, true? So one of the things is, go back to the introduction, I think chapter one in this textbook or almost any chapter where it talks about temperature and temperature scales. When you look at a temperature scale, you'll have a relative temperature scale, absolute, relative temperature scale, absolute, okay? Typically those four are discussed. And it, it talks about things like to go from zero to 100 degrees C is a temperature change. And to go from 273 to 373 is a the temperature change. What's the same about this is the temperature change is 100 degrees C here, and it's 100 Kelvin there. And we find a change in the increment from hotness to coldness of one degree C is the same change in hotness to coldness of Kelvin, one Kelvin, okay? If I come over here, what would be at 32? And what's the boiling point in degrees F? 212, right? What's the increment? 180. You add 460, uh, you get what, 493, and then you can do the other one, add 460. But the increment is 180, that's a change in temperature in degrees F or degrees R from the boiling point I'm sorry, the ice point to the boiling point for water. So this specific heat, let's say for air, the way you use it is you recall the definition, it's a rate of change of enthalpy with respect to a change in temperature holding pressure constant. So that's like the change in enthalpy over the change in temperature. So if I wanted to calculate the change in enthalpy, specific heat change in temperature not the absolute value of temperature. So this is a temperature change. So if I want to convert uh, C sub P, 1.005 kilojoules per kilogram degree C, I multiply by the change in temperature of, uh, uh, here, here's the relationship. Just like the relationship one foot is equal to 12 inches, True? Isn't that a conversion equation that you start with? You start with the equation like that. You'll say that one degree C temperature change is equal to but one degree Kelvin change. You look at this equation, you say something's wrong. It's not saying one C is equal to one K, it's one degree C temperature change is equal to one degree Kelvin temperature change. That's a great conversion factor, put it right here. 1 degree C divided by 1K, and away you go. You just have to know, am I talking about degree C as a temperature, like where 0 is the ice point and 100 is the boiling point, or am I talking about a change in temperature of 1 degree C? There's a difference, right? And so that's the conversion factor that you do so that this change in temperature that you multiply right here gives you the correct change in enthalpy.